Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Yadav and in today's session, I am going to cover SAS interview questions and answers based on SAS macro masking functions. Let's move on to the next slide. If this is about me. So I have 10 years of experience in SAS development and I have these four SAS certifications. Let's move on to the next slide. So if you want to learn SAS from me, you can directly contact me on my email address or you can WhatsApp me directly. So in this course, I am going to cover entire SAS including base SAS, SQL, SAS macros, SAS functions, SAS procedures. Its a duration is three months and it will be a weekday or weekend batch. So fees is only 12,000 and if you do not like my course or if you do not get a job, you can ask for 100% money return. So guys, if you want to prepare for SAS interview or you want a session on SAS interview preparation, so I can provide you that session also. It's a one hour session in this. I will ask you the more questions and will provide you full confidence before you go for the interview. For more details, you can email me or you can WhatsApp me. Let's move on to the next slide. Okay, here is the first question. Write a statement to print MSG variables value in log. So in this statement, we are creating a macro variable message MSG and in that macro variable, we are assigning text that is world's 80% wealth is owned by 20% of the population. Is it true? Yes, it is true. But we are not going to discuss this message let's stick to our topic only so we are creating macro variable msg and assigning this text so if we want to print this yes we can use percent put statement you may be thinking about it but in this statement there is a problem let's understand what is the problem so since double quotation or single quotation works in pairs so in SAS programming whenever we specify quotations we need to specify in pair however in above statement only single quote is used so you can see here in words we are using Using only one quotation and SAS would look for the another quotation mark because it works in pairs. So there is a problem because in this there is no other quotation marks. So SAS would not resolve the value of MSG macro variable. To overcome this, we have one macro function that is called percent %str. This is a masking function and this will mask or hide the meaning of single quotes. So the macro processor would not look for another single quote. In another way, we say that this is invisible to SAS macro processor. So we need to rewrite the percent let statement with percent %str function. So here is the statement we are writing. It is same but now we are using percent %str function and whatever character we want to mask we need to put percent symbol before that. So here you can see single quote or apostrophe we want to mask so we have apply percent before that and then we are printing this msg variable in log so we are using percent put and m percent msg so m percent msg is used to print the macro variables value or resolve macro variable let's see the log so in the log this is our statements and this is the message printed in the log so msg variables value is world's 80 percent wealth is owned by 20 percent of the population so i hope you understand this so percent str function not only mask these but it can mask other symbol or other mnemonics also so if i talk about mnemonic mnemonics are like when we use gt gt for greater than lt for less than so these operators are called mnemonic operators let's move on to the next slide okay so we have another question write a statement to print company macro variables value in log so we are creating one macro variable company and we are assigning value johnson and johnson so here if you can see clearly i hope you understand that part that we are using m percent johnson when we apply m percent before any character or string or text sas macro processor would think that we are trying to access or reference a macro variable. SAS would think that m% Johnson is a macro variable and try to resolve it. And this is the problem because Johnson is not a macro variable. We are just writing the name of the company. So it will give warnings in the log. And then we are using print company name and printing this macro variable company. So this is the same that I have explained. Let's see the log. So in the log, you can see we have two warnings. These are our statements and here we have a warning like Johnson not resolved. So SAS macro processor is trying to resolve this value, but this is not a macro variable. So that's why we are getting warning. And in another line, we are trying to print the value of macro variable company. And when we are printing company is trying to access this macro variable because of that, we are getting another warning. So we are getting two warnings in it. However, the message is printed 
printed in the log johnson and johnson but if you are working in an organization we cannot afford a single warning in already established process so we need to remove these warnings let's see how we can remove these warnings so to remove those warnings we need to use one another function that is called nrstr let's understand this so we need to use masking function percent nrstr nr stands for no resolution so it will not resolve the macro variables value that is m percent johnson and this is used to hide the meaning of percent and m percent character so it additionally hides to characters as compared to percent str since m percent is masked and says macro processor treats it as text and does not give warning so now you understand that if we use percent nr str we can mask or hide the meaning of m percent character let's see the log these are our statement that we have rewritten so here we have johnson and johnson printed text in log is print company name johnson and johnson but now you can see there is no warning in the log so we can hide the meaning of m percent and percent using percent nrstr so guys whenever interviewer ask a question on sas macro it is 95 percent chances are that interviewer would ask definitely a question on percent nrstr or percent str so i hope this is clear let's move on to the next all right guys that's it in this session if you like my video please hit the like button or subscribe it or if you want to learn sas you can contact me directly or you can share this video to anyone who is interested in your friend circle okay let's Let's meet in the next session. Till that time, bye and take care.